Hi, this is Randy Finney with Right Side of the Chart, and this is a mid-session update for Monday, uh, April 4th, 2022. Uh, I'll do a quick update here, uh, mainly focus on the broad markets. There's not much new to report on uh, gold, silver. They're sort of floundering today, as are treasury bonds, as are the pot stocks, uh, just about every other uh, trade idea that I've highlighted recently. Uh, I'll do an update on crude, however, there are some uh, developments to note there. So on QQQ, mentioned leaving town on Friday early. We effectively came in here. Uh, it wasn't as close as I'd like to see, but it was within uh, 37 basis points or so of that, uh, about one-third of 1% 1 of that uh, first target I had on Q's uh, 357.15. Uh, Remember, that's the actual support level. Uh, buyers will often step in early. So you have a bounce. Um, and again, I, I still I still think we'll probably make a full tag of it. Uh, we still have, remember, we're still coming off the divergent high there, uh, ran into resistance, also rejected off the 200-day moving average, and um, I still think we'll have another run down there. And the fact that we've come so close to it, if we do run at it again, uh, we just may take it out and go on to hit that next uh, target, uh, which I think will, you know, again, is a minimum downside target for uh uh, let's say this week or so, near term. Uh, so that's that. Not much to mention there. I'll cover the futures real quick uh, for those of you that trade NQ. And this is the uh, hourly chart, 60-minute chart of NQ. We were just looking at the 60-minute chart of QQQ. So on the, uh, there, I had a comparable level to that first target of uh, Q on QQQ. The comparable level on NQ was about uh, 14,675 right there. And again, we came within a, a, a fraction percent, almost hit it there uh, on Friday afternoon while I was out. So that was a uh, pretty much a reversal there. And you had a small a little divergent low right there and then you went on to take out this little minor trend line um, but based on the uh, scope of these divergences and the resistance levels uh, uh, overhead including the 200 day moving average I still think uh, I'm still leaning towards another run back down and again when you come that close to a target and then have a noticeable you know significant reaction like this um, that is for all intents and purposes effectively it's hit there that's where the buyer stepped in as such if we make another run down to it then that should open the door to that next target down there uh, 14, 4, 43, 50 or so right there. You can see that line. All right, so that's a near-term outlook for the markets. And, you know, most likely was a catalyst for QQQ reversing and NQ reversing just shy of resistance is this one. Uh, if you recall from last week, I updated the major market-leading FANG stocks. This is by far the biggest. Uh, Apple at uh, 2.9 trillion, uh, well above the uh, rest of the lot as far as uh, you know the big Fang stocks, as far as it's weighting on the indexes, and it hit that. Uh, remember, I had these same lines here last week. We had already hit that level once. Uh, 172 uh, support right there. It shows at 172.04 here, but it's a pretty good support level, and that's what ha happened Friday afternoon. We hit that, and so the buy programs fired off and bought Apple again at that that same support level, and uh, so uh, again that needs to go. The other thing too that happened in the last update, I think it was Friday. I mentioned we need to take out 451 on SPY to open, you know, take that support level out to open the door for a move down here to 444, which I still think happens. But uh, all we did, we had a ever so slight and brief pop below it, but uh, for all intents and purposes, uh, call it a whipsaw or call it what you want, a little brief overshoot, that, that support level is held so far. And again, that needs to go. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to move the line a little lower since we have a reaction, since we dip below it there. And that's also going to come in right here at that reaction high, reaction lows there and some levels back there so that's that's the story basically it's about the same level again on a 450 point security now i just change it from 451 to 449.67 or so we'll call that 449.50 uh and that's what needs to happen so so far again bigger picture is this uh just like qqq we had uh 60 minute rising wedges with negative divergence we broke down we're moving lower uh we hit support we hit support on apple at the same time spy hit the support and uh i still favor another leg down there uh based on all the analysis i gave you last week uh update on crude oil that one uh is put in that uh that's a five minute chart that's not what i want to show you i want to show you this one 60 minute chart i'm going to zoom in a little tighter here and um you know the key things on this and you know there's been several trades since that last one but this was 
remember from the short that we had right here, that short entry, we swung it down. We hit all four targets. The fourth and final target was hit right here, and that was pretty big support. And I mentioned it the other day is offering an objective long off that level. We tested it several times. This happened over the weekend uh, or Friday and then into the weekend. And so the key levels uh, are this, uh, you had this 60-minute uh, falling wedge pattern. You had divergence there. You also had bigger divergence right there because you had a, a slightly lower low here when we hit that 98 level right there after you know hitting it there, hit it again. And this is our divergence. So that was positive divergence. We broke out of that uh, minor downtrend line, had one more back test in the 98 level. We ran up here today. And now this is the level to watch. You have a nice downtrend off the highs. That's what, uh, you know, I believe that trend line was there last week as well in my charts. Um, and I'm always adding and subtracting, you know, modifying the charts. If, uh, you know, as uh, we say, the charts are dynamic. And so the levels are always changing. But uh, that's a pretty good one now, especially because we had yet another reaction today off that level. And so bigger picture, it's doing this. You had the divergence. You could still have it and would still have it if we come down maybe the wedge expands a little maybe we keep that same 98 support or we have a sometimes what's really nice to see is a little a break below there because it's so well watched now we've had so many reactions that i can all but assure you there's a cluster of stops at right there and the powers that be they like to take things down they have a, what they call a stop rate if they can slice it through there there they blow out all the stops there's a quick run down then they go long uh, and start buying and if that happens you're still gonna have this wedge right here and then you would have cleared out a lot of longs and then that sets the stage for a move up and then a breakout above the wedge but either way that's one potential again there's a you know, myriad of possibilities at any time but uh, the key is to watch for a break of this uh, trend line and then really I haven't modified any of these targets this was a formal former T2 I believe they I have I might have moved some of the lines I don't think so uh, about 104.50 is resistance overhead so you know the crude's still looking constructive right now um, you know despite the uh, uh, the administration's efforts to um, put the brakes on it you know by uh, uh, announcing the um, you know depletion or um, supplies coming out of the strategic uh, reserves so we'll, we'll see what happens again let the charts be your guide that's what I do and, and that's it so you know as long as this continues to work you can buy drops down to 98 like I said we've had so many checks if we get there again I would put good odds if we come down to it again I say the odds would be over 50% that we're gonna at least have a, uh, a marginal brief you know whipsaw down below stop clear and run followed by reversal now if that happens here's a way you want to might want to trade it it's a consideration you know support is support and if it's broken then that's bearish and, and you could just waterfall down from there and the divergences could be taken out right so what what you might want to do especially if you want to just uh, increase the odds you could take a shot there on the breakdown and then have a stop not too far below um, it's a little more aggressive, but it can pay off with a better entry price, especially if the reversal's fast. Otherwise, wait for the reversal, because if you break 98, they take it out, you see a nice washout move on high volume, then a reversal and a recovery. Well, that's bullish, because then that tells you that was a uh, bear trap, uh, aka, you know, false breakdown. And so the, you could re-enter uh, back on the recovery back above 98. Again, one of many possibilities. Otherwise, we might not even go down there again if we don't. Uh, watch for a breakout of that level and then boom uh, and, and, and keep in mind uh, if if we do break out we just draw that wedge again the way it is right now if we do break out the measured target of a wedge is uh, the the, me the measurement I like to use because it's simple and it's pretty darn effective is the widest part of the wedge you take the widest part and add it to where the wedge breaks out so for example let's just assume a breakout soon uh, that's gonna take you somewhere back up there not far off the, uh, the those recent highs up there, somewhere like that. And that's it. I told you I'd keep this one short because, again, I can go over all those other things I talked about, but there's not a lot of movement today. On balance, all the pots, actually all of them, uh, except TGODF, all the pot stocks I mentioned are green today. Not, nothing big. Some of those, uh, a lot of the, uh, last time I looked, the... Um, online educational uh, stocks are up as well but again that's just nothing 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 big to report you know being up uh, if there were significant things such as a breakout or new levels of note then I uh, would cover those otherwise uh, I'll just leave it here and I'll get the video out to you guys this has been Randy Finney with right side of the chart
Have a great day.